I'm Robert Timmons, and you're watching Weekly Words. Stop me, oh, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, please, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, oh, somebody stop me. And Lord... What's up, everybody? Thank you for checking out this week's episode. I hope this past week for you has been very empowering and very impactful for you. Let's go ahead and get started with this week's episode, Exit Closed. All right, so before we get started with this week's episode, I do want to encourage anybody that has not seen week nine, Life's Construction, to go back and watch that episode because this week it's almost like a continuation of that exact conversation. So in week nine, I talked about embracing the construction that you have on your life, right? That there's always going to be some kind of work that you have to go through in order to have that promise fulfilled. I talked about not, not wanting to go a back road, a back street in order to avoid that construction because at some point in your life, you're going to have to deal with it and it could just elongate the process. Embrace the construction and have faith that the promise is going to be fulfilled if you are diligent in that construction. Today, I wanna to talk about exits being closed. So, but like I said in, in, in week nine, there's a lot of construction going on in Houston, a lot of construction going on around my house. I honestly think that pretty much every single highway in Houston has some kind of construction going on at, at somewhere and it's it's just a lot. It really just backs up tra traffic and it and elongates the commute and it's just really annoying. But now the construction has actually got closer to my house to where that exit right there where I would, would enter, the inter ramp where I would enter to go onto the highway is actually closed. And so now it really impacts me because I have to change my route. If I did decide to stay going the normal route that I went through, I would have to go through the next, I have to go up to the next exit on the highway and actually sit through an additional light. And I did this a couple of days and it actually adds about 20, 25 minutes to my commute, which is completely ridiculous. So I've had to find an alternative route. And I was very upset in this because it was just different than what I had been doing and it wasn't comfortable for me and it still adds a little bit of time, maybe two to five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, just depending on how traffic is for that day. And then also with school starting, it's changed as well. Regardless, it still gets me to work. It's nothing crazy out of, out of my you know, typical schedule, but it is something that's different. And I was just thinking, huh, it's crazy how I'm no longer comfortable, but something new is is uh, stirring up inside of me because growth and comfort don't go together. So in me having to find a different route, I've, I've found that I've had to become a little bit more disciplined in the time that I wake up and the time that I leave to ensure that I actually get to work at a decent time and that I'm not extremely late. And this is something that I don't think I would have really you know, thought of or, or developed if I if this hadn't been the case because I got very comfortable in in my in my commute to work and you know not necessarily being concerned with the time that I arrived as long as I got my my work done and so in doing this I was forced to be out of my comfort zone and remind myself of of diligence and discipline in order to ensure that I arrived where I needed to arrive when I needed to right so I wanted to encourage everybody watching that. Whenever an exit's closed in your life, whenever uh, you see something that's preventing you from going your typical way, your, your, your typical routine, you have to alter it, don't be discouraged and see it as a negative. See it as an opportunity, right? An opportunity for you to develop your character, an opportunity for you to develop your discipline, an opportunity for you to grow in, in, in relationships, to grow in, in, in your goals, to be putting forth more effort into what you want to build in your life. Your exit being closed does not mean that it's a roadblock that you can no longer go forth. It's just an opportunity for you to look at life from a different perspective. With me changing my work commute, it's not like it's affecting me getting to work, right? I still get there, right? It's just a different journey and I, and I have to, you know, make some adaptations. So in your life, there's going to be moments when you're going to have your comfort exit closed, right? You can still embrace that as a positive and use it as an opportunity to learn, like I mentioned earlier. Don't see it as a negative. Don't see it as a roadblock. See it as an opportunity to improve who you are, especially for where you're going in your next season of life. 
All right, so question time. Just like every other week, I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions. And again, I encourage you to think through them by yourself and also answer them with your accountability partner to see in which areas you can grow and see what areas you have been growing over this past year. So question one, in what areas in your life are you comfortable and how is that impacting your growth? In what areas in your life are you comfortable and how is that impacting your growth? Question two, what exit closures have you experienced and how can you see that as a positive in order to reach your goals and grow in your character? What exit closures are you experiencing in your life and how can you use it as an opportunity to grow in your character? Thank you for checking out this week's episode of Weekly Words. I pray that you thoroughly enjoyed it and got something positive from it. If you have any suggestions for things for me to talk about in the future, feel free to email me at weeklywordsrt at gmail.com. Again, that's weeklywordsrt at gmail.com. All right, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you back here next time. Stop me, oh, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, please, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, oh, somebody stop me, and Lord, if I'm doing it wrong, please stop.